the last few weeks were very fruitful when it comes to new Blender add-ons and updates. From new AI add-ons in Blender, to modeling, creating clouds, alleys, plants, and so on. So without further ado, let's jump right in. If you missed it, GeoPlant Library is a new and free Blender add-on which is a pack of vegetation containing over 170 plus fully textured and optimized high quality assets that you can incorporate into your scene really fast. It is actually from the developers behind the extremely popular add-on GeoScatter, which was formerly known as Just Scatter. So, this library contains a lot of render-ready assets for beginners hobbyists, and even professionals. Either way, the add-on is free to use, so you have no reason not to try it. It also integrates beautifully with the asset browser. All you need to do is just drag and drop the assets, and you will be able to do whatever you want after that, and save yourself a lot of time and effort for free. When it comes to AI, things are moving very, very fast lately. And Blender is riding the wave too. Stability AI for Blender is an add-on that allows you to use the power of stability inside Blender. If you're watching this, you'll probably have heard about Stability AI before, or at least one of those AI art generators. Well, this one integrates into Blender, enabling you to use it within your Blender workflow, which is amazing or maybe terrifying depending on your own perspective. This Blender add-on is available for free, so you can grab it either from the Blender market or you can go to the developers page on GitHub. Now, the way you can use the add-on is similar to any text prop image generator. You have a field where you can input your text, you can also pick between multiple prop presets like photography, portrait, watercolor, architecture, fantasy, and many other options. You can also really control the initial image type, such as text only prompt, texture, or animation, in addition to the resolution of the generated image. Now, from AI to something very simple, if you are trying to import multiple files, assets, models, ACRIs, or anything to your project, and you have to go to the menu, import, decide which type of asset or model you want to import, navigate through it, and do it all over again, you are not alone. If only there is a way to import stuff without having to go through all of this hassle. Well, today we have the perfect solution for this problem, and it is called Drag and Drop Import. Drag and Drop Import is an add-on that simplifies the process of importing files into Blender by allowing you to simply drag and drop anything you want into Blender by just dragging them from your file explorer and dropping them into Blender's 3D viewport or outliner. Some of the add-on's most notable features are the ability to either use the default import settings or customize them while importing. Another useful feature is image importing. The add-on allows you to customize that when dragging and dropping while holding the control button, you can choose from the menu which import parameters you want, which is interesting. You can also import VDB sequences by dragging and dropping, which also applies to a folder or many VDB files, as well as HDR and EXR files, which will be automatically set up as a scene HDR when dropping them inside Blender. Still around the topic of AI in Blender, the content creator called Zilge has taken Twitter by storm, to say the least, and they did this when they published a tweet about a new tool for Blender that will help artists who like to create hyper-realistic renders in the software. The tool is basically a handy script that allows you to use the neutral network control net inside Blender, which is basically a network structure to control diffusing models by adding extra conditions. This is actually a game changer for AI image generation where it brings unprecedented levels of control to stable diffusion. The revolutionary thing about ControlNet is its solution to the problem of spatial consistency, whereas previously there was simply no efficient way to tell an AI model which parts of an input image to keep, and ControlNet changes this by introducing a method to enable stable diffusion models to use additional input conditions that tell the model exactly what to do. So the tool will allow you to control diffusion models without leaving Blender meaning you can pose any character, hit F12, and boom, let the magic happen. Now, are you guys tired of the nasty way that Blender packs UVs? Well, there is actually a solution for that and it is called UV Pack Master. In this new version, 
The add-on introduces a new feature called Stack Groups, and when used, it will enable you to make the packer automatically align and stack specific islands on top of each other before packing and then packing stacked islands together. Also, if you want to create clouds, there is a new add-on called Cloudscapes, which provides you with a bunch of hyper-realistic VDB clouds collections. The add-on is basically a photorealistic 3D volumetric clouds library for Blender in a VDB format. And if you don't know what a VDB is, well, it is a great technology that has been developed by DreamWorks to allow three-dimensional data grids in the CGI industry to be stored, where the grids can hold a wide range of information, including temperature, density, and velocity, which will make it possible to create realistic and complex atmospheric effects such as clouds, explosions, and even interstellar nebulas, which essentially will help artists to take their work to the next level. The add-on works as an asset library, which means you can go and drag all your assets into your scene and it will be dropped in the viewport. This is thanks to the asset browser, of course, which will allow you to collect a library of materials, textures, assets, and HDRIs in just a single place. Another thing that this add-on offers is the 29 biomes that can be used for GeoScatter. This will enable you to add many clouds on different strata for maximum realism very easily and quickly. The add-on has a total collection of 211 clouds divided into 9 large families of clouds and 2 additional categories which are ready to work with both Cycles and EV. Have you ever wanted to sync your sound with your animation, similar to those rhythm-based edits? Sound Nodes is one of those add-ons that allows you to do just that. It allows you to extract audio information from music files and use it to drive your animations however you want. The information is extracted to be stored as keyframes, and these keyframes are connected with custom nodes in the Geometry Nodes Editor, allowing you to create any audiovisual composition you want. The use cases of this add-on are limitless, of course. You can do all sorts of histogram and sound wave effects, but you can also apply it across multiple objects in the scene, and because the whole thing is driven by geometry nodes, you can reuse and adjust any of the settings in real time, non-destructively. So if you want to learn about sound nodes, you can read the full documentation that the developers outlined. Also, the add-on offers a free demo version where you can try it for free. Last but not least, we have this new add-on that allows you to create alleys with just few clicks using the power of geometry nodes. Well, we all like procedural things, like procedural textures, buildings, and facts. And because this add-on is built on the power of geometry nodes, you can customize this however you choose. There are two types of alleys that you can choose with this add-on. Front alleys, where you can add street lights and power lines to transform your alley into a street full of life. You can also use the back alleys, and these are a lot more narrower in addition to being darker, of course, with a lot of back stairs, pipes, containers, and wires hanging between the walls, in addition to other stuff you know. Once you create your alley, you can of course change basic settings, like the height and the width of each building, and customize the location and amount of details on the wall. But you can also change things like curtains and windows, and how many signs you want, and how high they are from the ground. The add-on will include frontal windows, frontal shops, doors, and garages, in addition to power line street lines, of course. This in addition to details like air conditioners, cloth lines, and curtains, also adds details like wires and pipes, wall assets, wall signs, sidewalks, and much more. If you guys are interested in these add-ons, you will find the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, please subscribe to this channel to stay updated with the latest news of 3D software and the 3D industries in general. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.